I'll shut this then. Sorry. Of course, a bit nicer today, isn't it? Welcome to Wednesday, the practice round. So you've already seen sort of like part one and part two of the Tuesday vlog. This one's just going to be like one part today. Um, just going to show, so you're getting a fitting session in a minute. Yeah, just to check. Check the sort of speed on my driver. Last week I lofted it up because we're at altitude and yep. this week seems so a bit in between. So I just want to test what, well, what's going the furthest for me, really. Yeah. And then from there we've got a plan 18, yeah? Yeah, yeah, start on one and have a recap on the front nine and then, uh, yeah, get the back nine. Yeah, cool. So lots of golf today. Fitting and then nine holes the back nine, which I haven't seen. Well, if you're asking around. Here we go. Bosh. Got a fish finger, mate. That's what I put that on today. Is it? Fire on there? Like fish fingers? I was like, all right then. I haven't had one of those for a while. I have actually, I've had a fish finger sandwich many a time. What have we got out there today? Any hippos? Hippos. Any hippos there? Yeah. Oh look, he's getting up. I promise today is not going to be all about this. All right, just give me two minutes and uh, we'll get to golf. <laughs> oh God. I've asked for it now, and it's going to be off already, but at least. Blue balls. Captain Blue balls. I'll tell you what, those. But then here, I don't know if I want to check out. I feel like it's going too high and too spinny. Okay. Lifted. Straight over the 125. Yeah. Let's put the stick down and find out to line up. Let me just quickly. What's the plan then, mate? It's trying to check your spin numbers. And... Yeah, just try and get the best settings for this week. Because uh, it's a bit heavier air. I mean, yesterday it was really warm, but today it's probably more like what it'd be like for the next three days, four days. Um, so, yeah, just want to check on getting the most out of the driver. Um, last week I had to change it to hit it sky high. Mm -hmm. Get some spin to get the carry at altitude. Um, so try and bring it down yeah, a bit yeah. Well, just try and maximise it, really. Yeah. Five, three, nine, nine on A one. On A one. And put the tour. Maybe. I feel like it's quite good. I just feel I don't know if I quite. If you quite maximise. Spin it enough. But then I sort of feel the other way is probably too high. I mean, if it's really hot like yesterday, same as Jobo. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Yesterday I was aiming towards Ethan. Yeah. But I think today I'll probably want more yards and then put on. Because I don't hit it very far, I prefer to yeah. feel I'm hitting further than that. Yeah, yeah. It'd be like 180 and I'm hitting 5 iron or something. <laughs> The other so I was right to knock it down. Definitely. What is that going in here? So what's that spinning at, at the moment? Uh, 2,487. Uh, very consistent. The previous one was over, just over 2,400. Okay. And launched both of them around 13, which is beautiful. So it's about perfect for his perfect. launch and yep. speed, yeah. So if you have a look here down on the track, man, we want to try and get all those numbers in the blue. Okay. Yeah. That's proper. You're just trying to get all those in the blue and that is... Yeah. Uh, that's perfect. Okay, yeah. good. And that's your, that's your one that spun a little higher. Yeah, that, that was a little bit. But that's still in the blue, yeah. So I wouldn't even try the other to, setting. I tend to worry about it not spinning enough. Yeah. Like if I hit high toe. And that just kind of your, your high spinning that's one, what we had perfect. At, yeah. at Joburg, it was yeah. a little bit too dippy, wasn't it? I wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't change... The setting got up more. Sorry? Can I hit some three woods? Yeah, we can hit a couple. So I have that lofted up. Yeah. Yeah. You pulled it a bit. Yeah, launch went the, down. Let's put you on this guy. How good is this? This is the one before, yeah, the good one. Yeah, that does a beaut. That's bang on. That's what you're trying to see for Steve. 
Steve. Just the, no, that's uh, that's perfect. I wouldn't uh, change it from there. The spin goes down, but yeah, it still yeah. keeps flight. And that's the difference between the new head and the previous one. Yeah. Is when you hit a toey or you miss hit it, you still have flight. Yeah. Um, the ball stays in the air for much longer than before. You know when you like we, we talk uh, uh, about it like a net bank challenge. Yeah. When a guy hits it, it doesn't matter. Everyone just claps hands. Yeah. Because it's just it always looks good. But the new driver and fairway almost gives you that same thing. Yeah, yeah. Even if you hit it bad, you know it's not a perfect one, but the flight's always good. Yeah, no, because that was terrible strike. And yeah, and that's gone. I mean, it's gone ten short, but yeah. it still had flight. Yeah, yeah. You just got to. Can you take a photo? You mean to take a photo for you? No, oh yeah, just for um. Change man, you aren't you? I oh, know. No, I'm getting into. All right, let's do this then. Back nine. Back nine. At the leopard. Back nine Wednesday. Not quite the same as back nine Sunday. You've already seen the front nine from the last video. This one's going to be. This is where it gets special, right? Yeah, the front nine's golf-wise brilliant. Views-wise, probably a bit tame compared to this nine. I mean, it's cool that you're playing in the bush. You can hear wildlife around you and stuff on the front nine. This nine, you get views overlooking the Kruger. Yeah. Um, no, it's proper. Full bit. David mode coming. Yeah. No, Dave can, he can come around all nine this nine. 4.30. 4.30. Just uh, split in the bunkers? Yeah, try and finish on the black, black board there. Sharp, mate. There's the black board. Oh. Just to show, we've walked we 25 there. yards we've off the tee. Yards, yeah. Oh, it's going in. Try and cool off. There's a hippo just having a little chill. 157. So we play that as 150. Yeah, 150 winds sort of straight across slightly. Straight off the right, and yeah, maybe yeah. a touch of hurt. Hitting just a stock eight. Yeah, a normal eight should be decent. Swing. Just gonna catch it. Yeah. So yeah, if you've seen yesterday's, you'll see some of the greens are quite severe out here. But they obviously get a bit more severe as the greens get a bit quicker through the week. This is, what you said, like a foot and a half quicker today? Yeah. Than yeah yesterday. And they've got sub air here, which was all the rage at Augusta. Oh, just don't even stop which, um, that up. <laughs> Yeah, if they put that on, then they can change the golf course Seriously pretty quickly. Um, I think you're going to see why. So what was the winning score last year? Like six to eight under or something like that? Uh, I think it was eight under. Yeah. I think... I think 10 or 11 was leading after two rounds. Right. So it just dried out and... Yeah. Last year apparently what, it was firm and it's hard to literally yeah, stop the ball. Yeah, the greens are sort of quite new so it's quite hard to stop it. Mm -hmm. uh, the ball will sort of just land and keep rolling. Um, rather than most firm greens, it hop, hop, hop and then still check a bit. Yeah. Here it just hop, hop, hop and then carry on rolling. and. Yeah. But yeah, you're about to see how it's playing um, when it gets a bit quicker, because it is, it's a different ball game, isn't it? Yeah. And yeah, this is probably two yards from being very, very good. And you've got quite a tricky putt. We'll show you what it's like. In fact, the grain, why is it moving? Sort of like... The grain's this way, they're yeah. all down to the, that's the flag tomorrow. Okay. So we'll hit a few putts in a minute as well. You can see like what kind of speed they are. Is there any... Uh, Crazy greens of the back nine as well. Uh, similar to, yeah. similar to. Yeah, there's quite a lot eight. that. Uh, the problem is here, all the grain tends to go with the slope, so I'm putting uphill now, and it'll be super slow. But then I've got this putt where it's uphill to the flag tomorrow. Then it's all downhill, down grain. Really. Yeah. That's up quite a big hill. They're getting quick. So yeah, you got this as like a steady slope. Yeah. Like steady slope, but straight down the grain. So you're about to see Harsh. how quick this can get. We've got the green bit there, so you can see it's not. I mean, this is regarded as flat on the green book. Well, not. But the greens. Yeah, the red areas are severe slopes, and the the whites are like quite flat, and greens are sort of a subtle okay. slope. So this is pretty much nothing. Yeah. But just grain. Just grain and 
sort of downhill all the way. <laughs> so quick, isn't it? Whereas then going back up, it's probably a third of the speed. Right, so 11, 348 yard par four, straight up the hill. 250 yards to get to the fairway. And then you've got a bunker which cuts in. Yeah, 267 to the bunker on the left. 290 to the one on the right. Right. So you want to play short of the bunker. Well, I want to play short of the bunker on the left, but make sure I reach the fairway. You try and get through to the start of the fairway, do you? Or do you just try and hit driver that right uh, side of the bunker? No, I, I try and... I try and hit three wood most of the time to get to the start of the fairway. Mm -hmm. Just to take that bunker out of play. It's, it sits down in the traps here, so it's not nice having a hundred yard bunker shot uphill. And this green, if you if you don't get it more than seven yards on the green, it'll probably roll back 50 yards. It's gonna come down just beyond those trees. There. You're right there. Yeah. Not literally. 113. Jumpy out of there. I've gone left long. Uh, I might just be back left. Oh, here we go. What have we got? Ah. Two little vervet monkeys having a little fight. Oh. Come on, Dave. Sorry. No one wants to listen to James. Sure. I need to go Dave mode soon, don't I? Yeah. Oh, it doesn't sound like Dave at all, does it? No. I'll, I'll, on the tee. Are right, you going to give your buddy put a go? Yeah, I'll have a little downhill down grainer. This green's pretty severe as well. Drop off. All feeds down to there. There's a little shelf yeah. at the back. I mean, and you've got another shelf down here and a false front, which we'll show you in a minute. Shows the, the speed and the slopes on the greens. A bit like Augusta, this place, isn't it? Yeah, well, we'll drop one on the front in a minute. Dribbler. That's sort of one, two yards. And... Yeah. Okay. Not got much room uh, for error. We're allowed in the park, aren't we, I think? Huh? We're allowed to go in, you are, I think, yeah. You are allowed in the park, mate. We've been out there. And, uh, you seen much? The only thing we haven't seen is the leopard, but the leopard's been out in the TV compound today. He's really? all around the golf course today. Really? Yeah, so he's out. He's out, literally. So he could appear anywhere. Literally, he's out. So we were in lockdown in the, I was doing the par three uh, thing on the, the old 16th at um, Augusta. Mm. So we're skipping a few over the water. And, uh, a whole lot of counts. Yep. Everyone, uh, it's a leopard in the compound. Um, so Boxy is like pinned up against the wall in the thing, like, get me to the car. <laughs> <laughs> so he's like, oops, a daisy. Yeah, okay. Do you know what? I remember playing the old one back when I when I done well here. Like, Literally everything slope right. They've used 10 feet on the front right, mm. and then everything else just used to slope down to the back left. and. Yeah, see, you've got a better memory than me. It's a, I mean, it's weird, right? You said this has got that four, four. Of, like the 12th at Augusta. And yeah. This is the 12th at Leopard Creek. Yeah. And it's got a really thin, narrow, you know, shallow green. Yeah, that's what I was You thinking. know, and the wind swirls yeah. and it's back at you and it g catches people out. And it looks at the Kruger Park just to rub it in. I'll tell you what, Steve wants me to hit a ball and see if I can come inside him. Yeah. This, oh, I can't see that. Well, on the camera. Come inside can't, him, oh, yeah, so, so there it is. I've got nine. 144. Where's playing. the breeze? Should be down, I think. Just Should down off down. the right. It's not a good start for me. No, that's a good shot as well, Steve. Bit, bit high, isn't it? Yeah, that was good. Safe. Not bad. Right, you want to have a whack? Go on, can I have one go? Nine wedge? Nine is fine for me. Oh, straight in. Yeah, Mogsy normally. Right foot. Uh, oh, hello. <laughs> oh, 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 Moxie. Oh my god. That's how you do it anyway. Yeah. 
<laughs> You're not shy of a par three though, are you? Yeah, I'm not shy of a par three. What's that? I'd come inside you, good and proper. Yeah. Way good. It's done, yeah. Yeah, it's done, mate. Great par five. Big par five. Yeah, I struggle to get up to two normally. What's the line? I'm sort of just going just left that bunker. It's two, yeah. 290 to reach that trap. There's a stream that cuts across, so. Should kick. Should kick a bit left. There you go. Yeah, tee shot, mate. All right, a little layup in this par five. Yeah, might have you go. You got another ball there, mate? You give one a pot. Yeah. Cool, tiger. Won't be able to see that down. Left edge. Love look. 92. Here's Kruger Park. That's unreal. Ready? Big old pack. What else have we got here? Little Bambies. Chilling. Where's the hippo? Me. Oh, sorry, mate. He's made his way out there. Look how old that one is. Doesn't look like full sized. Sorry, mate. Doesn't look full sized, does he? Or she? I mean, it's, I mean, it's so big. You ever thought about getting a job for Nat Geo Wild, mate? What, with my knowledge? Yeah, with your knowledge of elephant size. <laughs> There's hippos fighting in here. Oh. Yeah, There's scrap over here, I think. Yeah, they're going for it. Might be playing. Oh, oh my god! Come <laughs> Right, should we play? Yeah. Play some golf? Three hours stop of safari by the 13th. It's worth it, doing it. This is the view we yeah. got from 14. That's all Kruger Park, it's the green we are just on there. Unreal. Right. 3.24 to the trap at the left. Right, see if we can remember how to swing it. Yeah, split. 146. Sort of wind into off the left. Is it in a full eight? Yeah, I think I'll probably have to do a good eight. Well, a good eight after standard steel for half an hour. But you've got to be left of this pin, just right as the tear and it'll run. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. Is that? Just right on that tear that I said about. I think I went over. Camera works awesome. Does that go long or short? gone long. No, I didn't even oh. see it. Let me show you a couple of shots out here now where you can get really, really fast. So when the pin's here, Obviously it all feeds and you can see this tier, you probably can't see it as big as uh, as big as you know being in person. Um got a big sort of like roll on air on the back, it's not a technical term. But if you're missing this trap, you've got this shot, it's pretty much impossible to get it closer. It's landing on the front. <laughs> yeah. It's got a miss in the right spot. Seven feet. Taller than that, probably get down the next slope. Big, big walk up to 15th tee now. This is 14, the downhill path three. Apparently 15 is the highest point on the course. 
and uh, this hill is severe. Got a feeling there's going to be a good view off this thing. Wow. It's a joke. Alright, so 15, 580 yard par 5. Yeah, it's good and, par 5. Uh, the long boys can sort of fly the, the trap on the left. Um, we'll probably get up with a, say like a three to a six iron. I struggle to get up on two because I have to play a bit right and... So a bit of room on the right? Uh, yeah, yeah. Like if you come here, you'll see the guy's still on the right-hand side there. And oh, probably yeah. 20 yards right of where he is. Shut. Sure. Yeah, down? I've not seen it down. No, I couldn't see it. I couldn't see if it kept turning. It's just it... inside trap. Yeah, I thought it was inside. Yeah, the temperature's dropped out here. It's, uh, well, it's not much above 20 degrees right now, is it? With a little breeze in the air. No. No, it's a lot. Humidity's died off, which not is Not that nice. we're complaining. Yeah, pretty good. Just gonna put a few in the trap because sort of the target in competition. If you've got, I don't know, like 280 and he's probably gonna try and just get one in this front trap or the left trap. In dark, mate. Two T's in this one. Yeah, yeah, a couple of options. Got one eighty-eight pin from here. Was it from Batty? Uh, not sure that's really, I think a similar. Two o five. No, it's twenty yards further. Sometimes they'll even play it more T's rounds, so it's even shorter. This is. Uh, this is every amateur's dream, isn't it? Yeah, no, they look very inviting, this shot. Yeah, what have you got, mate? I mean, it is five. I think Gentle five. Hair, hair too much, but yeah. it's pretty cold. Well, cool. Chat. Just ride it. Just round in the back track. Wind's just helping, isn't it, for me? Yeah. Well, that's the back. Where's he gone? Strap the tree. Oh, there he is. Ah. Where's the other one? There he is. Getting all the berries. Wow, that quick. Old Captain Blue Balls. <whistles> no. A little munch. Gave you that, mate. I gave you that. That's very kind. This is your moment, mate, alright? No pressure. It's good for me. Hello, YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> Almost like Tiger Woods, really, isn't it? Right in the mixer, mate. Go on. Oh, they're there. Mm -hmm. Right in the mixer, Yeah. It's like nine caddies there. Oh. 
Shot mate. Five six two, last hole. Last hole of the day, mate. Nice view, and then uh, got a cool little green down there to show you as well. Okay, second shot into eighteen. Great approach here. This is where it could get very, very hard to hold this green through the week. If they get the suburb systems on. I hate to say that word, but um, it can get really, really hard down here. Two twenty downwind. Four iron pump straight at it. Could be good. Ooh. Sort of 12 yards wide. At front the bit. front bit. But then if you pitch it past this bit, I would struggle to stop the green from here. Yeah, so it's a little like frontier that really you're trying to land it into. Because it goes down grain and hard downhill afterwards. And if you land it on that and it's dry, it's just straight in the water. Steve's second drive is a bit further down, so I'm going to give it one more go, I think. Just catch it. Right, so we're now in layup, layup zone. So, really, it's still not an easy shot. Just look at that. Oh my god. So, you've carried it onto the the top down slope but I think in the tournament down grain a bit quicker, that would, well you'll see there's probably four yards from rolling in the water at the back yeah that's it guys that is desert sprint desert sprint that's leopard creek back nine um really good golf course as you can see back nine is just a bit more special obviously the front nine is good good design but obviously back nine you got kruger park in the background and a bit more water and some like t-shirts of amazing views so let's just see what the week so let's see what happens this week. Obviously he's had a great start to this trip and um, he's hitting it really well still. Um, it's a tricky golf course, scoring is not going to be the same as last week. You know, you're not going to get a two slash three under cut like that kind of line. It's going to be more, I think last year was four over, but it was a bit harder. Hope you enjoyed it. Let's wait for this guy to drive first. Leave the video a like if you enjoy this. Subscribe and uh, cause we've got more of this tournament few more recaps um, and then next week at Sun City so lots of good content coming before Christmas all right see you soon